What's up, tubers? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, welcome to the first installment of What's in the Box Wednesday. This first one is a request going out to Robert. Wanted to see what was inside the Revell Ford GT Le Mans 2017. Winner. 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 Chicken dinner. Gluten free soy. Free range. <laughs> so, all punning aside. Joke, 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 guffaw. We're gonna crack this thing open and see what's inside. Yay, plastic noises. So, as you can see, first open, I have not been inside this box yet. Just looking briefly at the pictures of what's inside the build that uh, just looks incredible uh, so there we go the way i like to do it dump it check it we'll pull that off to the side and get into the kind of tweaked manual must have been friday <laughs> pretty thick that's uh an indication of how this build's going to be. Ooh, oh boy! Gee. Oh, tiny parts, tiny teeny parts everywhere. Oh, nice standalone engine. Uh, I always love it when kits have not a. You know, you could put that on display somewhere. Super cool. So you know, typical uh, Revell manual. Everything seems pretty clearly laid out. You got you know what to cut, what not to glue, indications of where the decal should go, uh, what color codes. So, ooh, this is probably gonna be a decal. Oh my God, I'm gonna get it wet, get it ruined already. Ooh, look at that, so colorful. Let's pull this off the side here, the side of the side. I just I wish you guys could see these as clear as I can. But uh, I, I don't know what any of this stuff is. <laughs> oh, there's the instrument cluster. Pull over here and see if the, if the camera focus in. Adjust the light a little bit. That's cool. For the tires, I guess. Different color she schemes schemes. This is going to be a decal chore, but for sure I want to put them on because race car. So, yeah, I want to cover those back up just because they look so nice. We'll jump right into the body and in true unboxing form, we will open it and take it out of the bag. Knife goes out, knife goes in, knife goes out, knife goes in. Similar to that uh, Tamiya GT that I just did an unboxing for. Oh, that's interesting the way they've got that stored in there. Hmm. Hope it didn't give it too much bend. So uh, similar, similar shape to the body to the car. I guess is that inherent to uh, GT racing, Le Mans style GT racing? I don't know. Looks clean. See a little bit of mold lines there, seam lines. That'll sand out. It's nice thick plastic though. It's it's really dense. Got some weight to it. And the rear of the car, again, little little mold lines there. Those will sand out good enough, but I hate to see that kind of stuff. I'm not complaining. I just you know it it just makes the detail job a little bit harder. That'll, that'll sound out fine, though. How's that work? Like that. Like that. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, there we go. Okay. Wow. What a cool-looking car. Isn't that neat? Neato. And then there's a bag of reds 
for, for those rocket thrusters. Atomic battery to power. Check. Get into these beautiful slicks with those decals on those. Those are nice. Eh, it's got a seam right down the middle, but you know, if you're like me, you'll sand that to make it look like it's got road wear anyways. It's a good looking tire. And of course, we're not going to get into the clears, but you can see what's there. Your front shield, uh, engine cover shield, and then side windows. Looks like you get in that bag. Two good sized metal axles. It's, it's got some got some girth to it. That's the second time I use that word. And then more clears. Wow, that's really strange. Look at them big that tree is for those two parts that's it or, oh okay there's some headlight lenses and I mean is there something missing I sure hope not but you can see clearly there's just those two and then those two and then what what goes there <laughs> don't know and then we'll get into the parts bags, do the underside first. Always cut towards yourself in a herky-jerky motion. Disclaimer, do not cut towards yourself in any sort of herky-jerky motion. Don't do what I do. I'm an idiot. Okay, there's the motor. Nice. Nice prominent details on there. That looks really good. That is going to look sharp. Yes, sir. I'm not going to bother calling out parts because I don't really know what stuff is, but that looks like probably some kind of, I don't know, struts. Uh, who, who knows? But like, I can just see already that everything is really clean. Not a lot of flash anywhere yet. Nice detailed disc brakes. Look at those things are huge. Awesome. Single piece exhaust, that's always nice. Couple uh, belts, belts and pulleys for something. Again, don't know, I've never built a GT car before. There's, looks like more engine parts. The engine front, some sort of venting or something. More exhaust dumps, not sure what that is those look like heads wow they're massive and then the undercarriage wow just flat flat as a pancake i mean i guess that's racing right they want to keep the thing flat to the ground uh, aerodynamic and that i believe that's a downforce thing to help push it down as it's racing cool it's got some nice details it's got can't see it. I'll try to flicker it so you can tell. It's got little indents where those would be like bolts holding it in or rivets or whatever. So you could pick that out with a toothpick. Oh, I almost said toothbrush again. Toothbrush painting. <laughs> so this is going to be a, a detail involved kit. And last bag, but the fullest one. There's a dashboard with, um, looks like, looks like a bunch of indents for buttons, switches, stuff. I don't know, let's see if the decals have, yes, there is, okay. There is a series of control buttons that go on that, on that panel. I don't see anything that looks like it'll go in there. Uh, doesn't look like it. But I don't know. I don't know. So, I'm going to try to keep those protected because it just, they just look so good. I'm just so pleased with the Ravel's 
decals. I've said it before, but they just, they look like they were really well printed. I was a press operator for a lot of years, and you can just tell the registry on these is just beautiful. Like, if you got a loop out, uh, you would be hard-pressed to find the color separation in these colors. Really good. Really good job. Props for their press operators. And then these big, gorgeous wheels. I'm going to paint those up to be whatever color you like. I don't know if you're going for the box livery, but those are going to look sharp. Like a aluminum, I would think. Some pedals and, uh, I don't know, more parts. <laughs> parts. There's parts on that tree. And another tree with more parts. Wow! Oh my gosh, look at that cockpit details. It's a drinking game. Every time I say detail, you drink. Look at the... It, super prominent for all the interior switches and, you know, electronics and stuff. Super cool. Yeah, let me get my hand out of the way so you can see it. Nice. Very nice. Looks like the probably the bottom half of the dashboard. I don't know. Okay, and then last piece. Uh, looks like roll, I don't know, roll bar support, some sort of uh, cage, some mirrors, and cool. Again, crisp details. You can't tell, but inside of there is like a cross hatch pattern that would be, you know, you could probably paint that up to maybe mimic a carbon, carbon fiber. I would imagine this car would probably have some carbon fiber on it. Again, not really my thing. I'm not a big, not that I don't like them, but, you know, I, I haven't really built many race cars except for that Porsche that I built. But, man, I'm already seeing some of the, they've got some really cool stuff in them. Bunch of different number options. I'll just put this away because I'm, I'm completely enamored with the decals. <laughs> and you should be too. So... There you go. That's what's in the box when you decide to get yours. The Ravel 2017 winner for GT Le Mans. Lemons. Le Mans. Le Mans. <laughs> They're going to go very fast around the crack. I said around the crack. <laughs> Words. I'll just stop with that French imitation because I am not French. I don't know what the Le Mans is, but I do know that is a really sharp car. Nice. So, there you have it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this uh, request episode of What's in the Box Wednesday. Be sure to tune in next week when we will do the second request, the 67 Plymouth GTX. Coming soon. Thanks for watching.